I'm going to talk about the youth in the digital empathy re-evolution. So evolution and revolution put together. Take a moment and think. Think about a time in your life when you might have felt as an outsider, were maybe bullied, or possibly something worse. Now think about this. Every single one of us in this room, every single one of us in this world, has or will experience the challenges of coming of age. There you have Vanessa at 14, very insecure, very self-conscious. When I was 14, I was bullied. I used to go home from school crying every day. But in my day, bullied happened in a physical state. Now today, things are very different. Bullying, disagreements, and pressures never end. They follow all of you guys wherever you go on your phones and mobile devices. And all of this is made a hell of a lot worse by cultural, social, and systemic taboos. Not sure about you guys, but living in today's world feels a little bit like this to me. So 24-7 connectivity constant public critique, exposure to the digital world, apps and experiences purposely designed to hook you, shameless manipulation, information overload and misinformation, as well as rampant social pressure, are having a detrimental effect on a lot of us, but especially on young people. There are 1.2 billion young people in the world with access to internet. And this access is known to be causing great, great, great emotional and personal development harm. So here are a few examples. Over 25% of young people are repeatedly bullied through their phones or the internet. 45% of LGBT students, including 64% of trans pupils, are bullied for being LGBT. More than half of young people aged 11 to 18 look up health information online. What is shocking is to know that 46% of sexual health websites in the US have misinformation when they talk about contraception. And most surprising, the suicide rate for young women aged 15 to 19 has doubled between 2007 and 2014. So I look at my children, my nieces, my nephews, and their friends, and I worry. I think even though information overload is normal for them, how do they cope? Do these look familiar? Parent or not, one can't help but notice headlines like these. They seem to be becoming part of popular culture. So 18 months ago, I began what turned out to be a three-month-long internet browsing monkey mind session. I became completely obsessed, looking for facts, figures, everything I could find. And then my, my, my search moved beyond the computer, and I started traveling pretty much everywhere. And I was looking to meet experts and people who could help me understand and make sense of the madness. All of a sudden, pieces of the puzzle began falling into place. As what I needed started to appear, and all of the people that I wanted to connect with started to believe in what I was trying to do. My talent is connecting people. I connect people, stories, and efforts. Add, actually, very little shame, some time on my hands, I began reaching out to academics, creatives, techies, artists, business people, authors, professors, but most importantly, I began reaching out to teenagers. So all of a sudden, the I became a we. 
It's all of these amazing people thought I was onto something and joined the party. And that's how Taboo Zap was born. It's a youth-led, disruptive new narrative in the form of a digital platform designed to tackle the noise around growing up that is cool, calm, and collected. Something that feels a little bit like a digital hug from a very trusted virtual friend. So, in order to find out what it was that young people wanted, we've conducted over 30 focus groups in four countries with young people between the ages of 14 to 22 from very different social economic backgrounds. But this work continues. We're now working in the US, we're working in Canada, the rest of Latin America, and we're going to be starting in Africa and in the Middle East. So we ask very simple, very simple questions. What do you want to talk about? What concerns you? What are you curious about? But most importantly, we emphasize, we are here for you. It became clear. There is a need for a carefully curated digital space that resonates with the individual and connects the individual to a supportive community a community that normalizes difficult subjects with facts, empathy, and humor, as opposed to an alarmist sort of tone. Now, another thing that came up is storytelling. It is one of the most powerful ways to convey a message. So we're now collaborating with influencers and community leaders who are sharing their personal story to inspire. So, in a nutshell, what we've done is we've put information, curated content, resources, supportive services, storytelling, and user-generated content around 43 hot topics that range from mental health, pressures, puberty, addiction, abuse, identity, substance misuse, and sexuality. We're living in a time where technology is not helping personal and emotional, uh, emotional development. So I just want to make sure you remember him. So using the very tool that is causing so much harm, we can evolve the narrative and turn it all around because Knowledge is power, and power is freedom. Now, I hope you can see that what I've developed in the last 18 months can help teenagers navigate the labyrinth of coming of age. We all go through such personal journeys. It's a very individual thing, but more likely than not, we face difficult moments. Encouraging conversations and discussions is the only way to demystify trolls and taboos. We have to talk about these things. This is the only way to bring society out of the dark. So, I have a vision. I have a vision of a growing global tribe of tomorrow's adults, free of shame, fear, and judgment where outdated social, cultural, and systemic taboos are, re are reinforced and replaced by respect, dignity, and understanding. What 18 months ago began as the journey of a mother has now turned into the mission of a very committed tribe. Now, I'm just a facilitator. I want you to meet the zappers. Hi, my name's Kim. Uh, I'm Joe, I'm 19. My name is Jager and I'm 21 years old. My name is Sophia, I'm 18 years old. Hi, I'm Camilla, I am 24 years old. I'm Loren, I'm 19. Hi, my name's Eve, I'm 19, I'm from London and I'm talking about self-esteem. And I'm going to be talking about social media pressure. And I'm going to be talking about gender identity. And I'm going to be talking about anorexia. And I'm going to be talking about masturbation. Thank you.